welcome friends this is the part 15 of panasonic robot training how to use the teach pendant here we discuss edit files basic operation it is possible to edit a file during teach or trace operation turn off the icon lamp then the edit window of the teach pendant becomes active editable open a file to edit a file you need to open the file you want to edit this procedure is necessary only if you want to edit a file other than the currently working program. Icons for file types. Program files. Display a list of all program files. Recent files. Displays a list of files recently used in teach mode. Excluding currently open file. Arc start program files. Displays a list of arc start program files. Welding specification. Arc end program files. Displays a list of arc end program files welding specification about recent files it displays six files at most which depends on file sizes the icon becomes gray out if no recent file exists you can see all this procedure in this image first click the icons and open the list of files open file dialog box second jog the dialog to move the cursor to the file you want to open and click name Specify the name of file to open. User indicates username of the specified file. Comment indicates comments of the specified file. Type program arc start arc end note. Unless otherwise specified, the explanation is on the premise that the file you want to edit is open. Now next is display a file on top of the screen. When you open more than one window, use this function. To display the specified file on top you can edit the file that is displayed on top now next is shift reset it is a function to manually reset the shift data set by commands first display either shift on data or sensing data on the right pane of the screen and then click the reset icon on the screen second check the check boxes of the shift data type you would like to reset Items on the confirm dialog box may vary with the system configuration. Add a sequence command. Move the cursor to the line you want to add a sequence command below it. Example, add an out command. First, on the menu, select add command and then out. Second, on the out setting dialog box set parameters. Next is change a sequence command. Move the cursor to the line of the sequence command. You want to change and then change the icon set parameters and click ok to update the change you can see all this sequence in this image when you change call or paracall command click a call or paracall command you want to change then the dialog box on the right to specify whether you want to display the program to be called by the argument or you want to edit the command is displayed select command edit and click ok if the call or paracall command refers to variables, the program called by the argument is displayed without displaying the dialog box on the right. Next is delete a sequence command. Move the cursor to the command you want to delete and delete it. The teach pendant promotes you to confirm the deletion of the command. Click OK button to delete the command. You can see this command in this image. Edit position of a dot point. It is possible to change the position of a dot point by entering numeral value. First, move the cursor to the teach point you want to edit and click it. Then the change dialog box is displayed. Second, click the position name. Then the position data of the teaching point is displayed. If an external access is included in the mechanism, use this keys to switch robot and external axis. Mark the checkbox for angle to display position data in angle. Third, enter desired values and then click OK. Now next, setting welding conditions, auto edit of arc start and commands. Welding robots are provided with commands for operation frequently used in welding. Welding start and sequences for easy operation. You can see all this auto arc start and commands in this image. When creating a program in teaching operation, by entering weld point and air cut point, correctly the preset detail welding conditions are automatically added to each teaching point. You can change the welding conditions in each point individually using file edit operation. 
when editing a program by editing weld point or air cut point arc start sequence arc set and arc on commands or arc end sequence creator and arc of commands is automatically added to or deleted from the program example when the point p3 arc start point is changed to an arc cut point the arc start sequence which originally was under the p3 is automatically moved to the point p4 that means the p4 becomes a new arc start point you can see all this procedure in this image note this auto edit of arc start end commands function is not applicable in the following cases changes using cut and paste operation editing a program that contains a welding command not used in the default welder editing a program default welder has not specified sequence commands frequently used in welding operation command arc on definition specifies welding start sequences how to set select a welding start program including torch switch on welding current detect setting range arc start 1 to arc start 5 arc off it specifies welding end sequences select a welding end program including torch switch off wire stick detect setting range arc end 1 to arc end 5 arc set selects welding conditions specify welding current welding voltage and welding speed crater selects crater welding conditions specify crater welding current crater welding voltage and crater welding time amp it specifies welding current it specify welding current only to change wire feed speed volt it specifies welding voltage it specify welding voltage only now next is slope control for welding conditions the slope control makes a smooth transition of welding conditions and produces a smooth welding speed welding method command function co2 mag mig command arc slp slope command for arc mag mig welding conditions lp slp slope command for low pulse welding conditions towers only start slp slope command after arc start crater slp slope command before arc end tig tig slp slope command for tig welding conditions wfd slp slope command for filler wire feed speed next is welding start welding end sequence programs five sequence programs each for welding start and welding end are factory set at shipment they are stored in teach settings in more menu arc on program arc start 1 to arc start 5 arc off program arc end 1 to arc end 5 for details of the sequence programs please refer to section arc start or arc end sequence later in this document file sort a list of files displayed on the screen with the file operation or so can be sorted in the following orders one click sort icon second specify a sort order and click ok sort order name a to z description ascending sort of file names name z to a descending sort of file names time new to old in order of time from latest to old time old to new in order of time from oldest to new size small to big in order of ascending size is small to big size big to small in order of descending size big to small Ascending sort order is from symbols to numbers to alphabet, while descending sort is in reverse order from alphabet to numbers to symbols. Next is save a file. Save the teaching data after teaching or editing in a file. If you close the file without saving the data, you lose all teaching data or the changes you have made. Save. Overwrite the current file. Save as. Name the active file and save it. Click file r file save save as save as file name program 0012 ok cancel close a file close the file currently displayed on top you can see this image click r file close file transfer a function to save files such as programs in another folder or to a memory card to transfer a file to a memory card you need to either insert a sd memory card into the SD memory card slot or insert a USB memory card into the USB port of the teach pendant. Note, do not remove the SD card or USB memory card from the teach pendant while transferring a data. If removed, file can be damaged. The robot does not function correctly with damaged files. 
If you transfer a file to a SD memory card, make sure that the SD card is in right possible condition. Close all active program files if any. Second, click the folder in which the file you want to transfer is saved. Then a list of files in the specified folder appears in the right side window. Third, press the window change key to bring the right window active. Fourth, click the files to transfer from the list. You can select more than one file. Mark appears at the beginning of the selected files. 5. The press the F3 next key to display the select a device at the destination dialog box. 6. Use the jog dial to select the destination folder and press the enter key. 7. Then the dialog box to confirm the action appears. 8. Click the OK button to transfer the files. So friends here we end this part of our Panasonic robot training. Further information we will discuss in our next video. So till then stay safe and take care and subscribe this YouTube channel to get such informative videos regarding robotics.